Namaste guys, Rajesh here from Namaste Tech and in this video, I'm going to show you how Hydrogen OS on the OnePlus 3 looks like. What is Hydrogen OS you ask? Well, to better cater to the taste of Chinese consumers, the OnePlus 3 units sold in China run on Hydrogen OS. While the skin is based on Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow, just like Oxygen OS, it looks nothing like it. Let's start with the setup process of the Hydrogen OS on the OnePlus 3. Since this is a Chinese based ROM, you do not get Google's usual suite of apps and services. You can however sideload the apps if you want to. I'll link to the relevant threads in the description below if you end up installing Hydrogen OS on your OnePlus 3. And since this is a Chinese ROM, it goes without saying that some Chinese apps are pre-installed like Weibo etc. The stock launcher on Hydrogen OS not only lacks an app drawer but it also lacks the shelf feature found on the launcher of Oxygen OS. The notification panel is bare bones with no quick settings which is pretty surprising. The only button at the top right corner allows you to manage and prioritize notifications from various applications. Jumping into the settings menu gives you a good idea of just how different Hydrogen OS looks from Oxygen OS. The 3 key and Zen mode option in the settings menu might seem interesting and different at first but it's not. It offers customization options related to the alert slider, something that is also possible in Oxygen OS. Inside the sounds menu in settings, the only interesting option you get is to select a predefined equalizer profile for some of the popular earphones. Heading over to display, you get the same set of options that you get in Oxygen OS, including a read mode, color temperature control, and dark mode. The features that you are getting in Hydrogen OS remains the same as Oxygen OS, it's just that the UI looks different. The IQ settings option in the settings menu pack in all the options related to the various gestures and motion settings found on the OnePlus 3. The option to customize the navigation buttons are also present inside this menu. The list of gestures available include being able to wake the phone by double tapping the display, launching the camera app by drawing an O on the screen and more. And continuing on a similar trend, the battery menu in Hydrogen OS is no different than what is found in Oxygen OS in terms of functionality. Though the option to display the battery percentage in the status bar is displayed more prominently in Hydrogen OS. The others option in the settings menu houses all the storage related information and also includes the option to enable USB OTG, another option that is buried in Oxygen OS but not in Hydrogen OS. Now let's have a look at some of the system apps. The phone app looks pretty nice and so does the messaging app, but they are nothing exceptional. They are, all just, they are all solid system apps that have been built according to Google's material design guidelines. Hydrogen OS also comes with a browser app which is filled with links to some Chinese websites. If you do end up using Hydrogen OS, my recommendation would be to not use this browser for privacy reasons. As for the camera app, it is the exact same one that you find in Oxygen OS and it offers the exact same set of features. So that's it for this video guys. This was Hydrogen OS on the OnePlus 3. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and go crazy on that like button below. Thanks for watching.